Today we have to study the new concept that is derivatives of uh, implicit functions. Derivatives of implicit functions. Implicit functions. We call this is implicit differentiation. Implicit different differentiation. So what mean by implicit functions? So before before going to study the implicit functions, first of all we have to define one more function that is the explicit function. Explicit function. What do you mean by explicit function? In which, in which y, y means dependent variable. Y is nothing but dependent variable. Can be expressed or not? Can be expressed or not? can be expressed or solved solved easily in terms of y easily in terms of x easily in terms of x where x is independent variable where x is independent variable These are called explicit functions are called explicit functions explicit functions explicit functions in the explicit functions it means y can be expressed in terms of uh, x directly so example is y equal to sin x here y is directly expressed as x y is dependent directly on x so this is called explicit functions y equal to x square plus 2x this is also explicit functions so we can take y equal to log x is the explicit functions, y equal to e raised to x explicit functions, plus 2x is equal to 0, that is y equal to x. This is also explicit functions. These are all explicit functions where y can express easily in terms of it is nothing but explicit functions. So we know what derivative of this derivative of y is you know derivative of y with respect to x, derivative of y is divided by x equal to x plus uh, 2. Here derivative of note that derivative of log x is 1 by x. In the uh, further class I will I will give the proof of the derivative of log x is 1 by x. Similar derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x. In the next concepts, in the coming concepts uh, we, we should know that derivative of log x. How come derivative of log x is 1 by x and derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x. So here we need to remember this. So here if function is explicit, if y is explicit function of x, then we can find derivative easily. What about the implicit functions? Implicit function. In the implicit function means the functions in which in which y in which y that is dependent variable cannot be expressed. Cannot be expressed, la. cannot be expressed, la. or solved, solved in terms of x, in terms of x. The functions in which y cannot be expressed in terms of x, or solved in terms of x, easily. So that functions are called as the implicit functions, are called implicit functions where y cannot be solved in terms of x easily so these functions are called implicit functions let us example of this that is if here y square plus 2y plus x is equal to 0 so how it is possible to separate x see y square plus 2y is equal to minus x Again, if you take y is common, so y plus 2 is equal to minus x. So y is equal to minus x divided by y plus 2. It means y is not separated from x. So if y is not separated from x, it means y cannot solve in terms of x only. So this function is called as implicit functions. Similarly, I take x square plus y square plus that is 2x plus 3y plus 1 is equal to 0. These are also implicit functions where we cannot express y in terms of x easily. Also, these functions are also called implicit functions. 
Uh, sometimes it is also called explicit because it can be expressed y in y equal to f of x forms. So this is both implicit as well as explicit functions. So then here another one is that is uh, x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1. So this is also both type of function explicit as well as implicit. Here we can solve y in terms of x. But if I take another example, x square plus 2, xy plus you know, y square is equal to 0. Here it, it, here it is not possible to express y in terms of x alone. So this is a purely implicit function. So now what is mean by implicit differentiation? These are example for implicit functions. What is mean by implicit differentiation? Implicit differentiation. Implicit differentiation. It is the process. It is the process of finding derivatives. It is the process of finding derivatives of. It is the process of finding derivatives of implicit functions. Derivatives of implicit functions. So this is called implicit differentiation. Implicit differentiation it is nothing but process of finding derivative of implicit functions. So this method is called as the implicit differentiation. It means now it is easy to find. Now here how to find these derivatives. If the function, we have to, we have to find derivative of this function, this is right. Whatever implicit function, if implicit function is given, now we have to study how to find de their derivatives. And this process is nothing but implicit differentiation. So what is the steps involved in the implicit differentiation or procedure uh, to find the derivatives of implicit differentiation uh, functions? Okay, let me see procedure. First one is, first point, differentiate your terms. Every terms with respect to x. This is procedure. Differentiate every terms with respect to x. So here under this, that will come derivative of uh, suppose derivative of y square. If you want to do with respect to x, differentiate every term with respect to x. So some terms like this you get y square will get. We have to find derivative of y square with respect to x. You are applying the chain rule. First assume that y is x. Assume that y is x. Then what derivative of x square 2x. 2x means y. Then it is a derivative square. Derivative square is 1. Now we have to find, we have to multiply derivative of y with respect to x. 2y into dy by x. This is a derivative of y square. Similarly, if you want to find derivative of sin y with respect to x, derivative of sin y with respect to x, first find derivative of sin. Derivative of sin is cos function y. The sin is over, then we have to find derivative of y, derivative of y with respect to x, dy by x. Similarly, derivative of log y with respect to x. So derivative of log, derivative of log is 1 by x, x means y, multiply derivative of y with respect to x, dy by x. Suppose if you want to write derivative of the cos y, cos y is derivative of cos minus sin y, then multiply derivative of y with respect to x. So like this we have to use. Differentiating the every terms with respect to x on both sides of the equation on both sides of equation. Second one is d y by x. Collect the terms of d y by d x at one side. At one side. And remaining terms at another side. And remaining terms remaining terms on another side on another side. It means the take the terms of dy by x on one side. One side is nothing but I take a on LHS side. Take the terms of dy by x on LHS side and remaining terms, remaining terms is where dy by x is not contained. 
these terms on RHS side, that is another side means RHS side. So all terms of the robotics we have to keep on LHS side. And all the terms, uh, all the terms which is not in, not having diva bodies, we have to keep in RHS. So then solve for diva bodies. Solve for diva bodies. This is the procedure to find the diva bodies of uh, implicit functions. Let me see one example. If x square plus x y plus y square equal to 100, find diva bodies. Find derivative there. But find derivative of x square plus x y plus y square equal to 100. Derivative is required. It means given first I write given function x square plus x y plus y square equal to 100. But find derivative of y with respect to x. Differentiating with respect to x only because we want dy by dx we want so differentiating with respect to x. We know that derivative of x square with respect to x is 2x. Then derivative of xy if you want a derivative of xy x is independent variable y is dependent variable both are the variable. So both are, this is where x is variable, y is also variable. You know how to find derivative of the variable in product form. Derivative of f of x into g of x. Yeah, this variable, this variable. So derivative of the f of x into g of x is f of x. Derivative of the g of x plus g of x derivative of the f of x. This is called product rule that we have studied in first year. The product rule that is the first I have what how it is first function keeping the first function as it is then derivative of the second function plus keep the second function as it is into derivative of the first function. This is called as the product rule. Now you have see here which is the first function x yeah, second function is y. So I will keep x as it is first function as it is into derivative of the second function y with respect to x. Plus second function as it is, what is second function y? Then into derivative of first function that is x with respect to x. This is the product rule. It is the derivative of xy. Now comes to the plus derivative of y square. So what derivative of y square? So with respect to x we are doing no. So with respect to x, so first do the derivative of y square. That is x square. That is 2y. Then it is derivative y square derivative of what? Then we have to multiply derivative of y with respect to x. That is dy over x is equal to derivative of 100 is 0. It is a differentiate. I differentiate all the terms with respect to x. Now keeping the terms of dy over x one side. Here dx over x is 1. Here dy over x is there. Here dy over x is there. Take one side. It means on LHS. x dy over x plus 2y divided by x huh? and remaining term what they are that is 2x plus y 2x plus y is equal to 0 I group the terms are divided by x here divided by x here divided by x there group it and remaining terms group 1 now in this uh, in this uh, here divided by x is common divided by x is common so we get coefficients uh, x and here plus 2y this sum i will take to rhs minus into bracket 2x plus y 2x plus y take to rhs minus of 2x plus y so divided by x is equal to minus of 2x plus y divided by x plus 2y this is the derivative of y with respect to x divided by x this is one of the example of an implicit function. So this is a procedure. This is the this method is called implicit differentiation. So remaining examples we'll see in the next class. So all uh, I request to all students please subscribe the channel.